Okay, I just want to make this point in a not non-derogatory manner. Corey, you're right. It is not that important, but it is important enough to be talked about for a little bit. Cleveland Indians. Did you watch the World Series? I'm from Ohio. Always been an Indians fan. Firstly, Indians live in India. They're from India. When Christopher Columbus came to this continent, he thought he was in India, so he called them all Indians. And then that name just stuck out of laziness. You call it racism, bigotry, ignorance, whatever. People just, for, for, for hundreds of years, they continued to call them Indians, even though they weren't in India. So, for that reason alone, I think it's a ridiculous term. The Cleveland Indians, like, they're from India? Really? And then John Seni put a pretty funny picture up of the Cleveland Indians, and then it showed a guy in a turban, like a traditional Indian turban with the gem. And Chief Wahoo, obviously, is insane. The, the mascot for the Cleveland Indians is this big, bright-faced, red, Sambo-looking uh, Native American caricature from, like, the early 1900s. Total racism. So they got to change their mascot. They have to change their mascot. Pretty much everyone's on board that that r- mascot is ridiculous. It is racist. It's fucking moronic. It's not even that cool-looking. Uh, so we got to change that. I kind of want to change the name of the Indians. I think it's time. You know, they, they used to be called the Cleveland Blues, and they're just piggybacked on the Braves to call themselves the Indians because the Braves are having a good season one year. But let's call them something better than that. Like, I, I was thinking, like, the Natives, Cleveland Natives, but they just do something way cooler than that. But if you're into it, like and share this video, and we'll get some real social change happening. Now, on top of that, I know that the Dakota, Act, the Dakota Access Pipeline right now is under siege. Hold on. I've got, I'm making... Uh, I'm about to make some eggs. You know, I'm vegan, but my brother was in town, and he bought eggs, and my coconut oil was on the stove, and uh, heating up, so I gotta make sure it doesn't pop and splatter. Let's go to Axis Pipeline is under siege by the police. Well, it's by whatever, however you're looking at it. Pretty much these native... Americans, and it's like, so the point we're making is don't get too hung up on the words, you know, because what's America? Amerigo Vespucci was some Italian explorer that discovered the land, so they called it America. And uh, so what's an American even just named after this guy, you know? But, so like, why why worry about calling them Indians, right? But it's like, if I met you and you were a guy, and I thought you were a girl at first because you had long hair, and I was like, hey, hey lady, and you're like, I'm a guy. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. But then I just kept refer- calling you a girl. I just kept referring to you as a girl, even though I knew you were a guy. You're like, yeah, she's coming with us. Highly offensive. Same way with Indians. You know they're not from India. And it's confusing. It confused me as a kid that there's Indians and then there's Indians? What the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. So we'll call them right now. We'll call them the natives. And they don't even like, being, from what I've heard, call them the Native Americans because that's ridiculous. What was America? You know, they're just the, the people that are in touch with the world, the earth, are protecting the land from fracking and pipelines right now. They're trying to blockade a pipeline in uh, North Dakota and the cops are like shooting at them with rubber bullets and macing the shit out of them and stuff because technically they're not on like their land um this one's for you Corey there's pretty visceral shit so stand with these people right now we don't need another pipeline what we need is solar power on every fucking house we need panels on every rooftop we need rooftops made of solar panels you know Elon Musk and Solar City and Tesla now are creating roofs that are solar roofs they're not paneled they're just rooftops that are phenomenal solar functioning tiles we need that that's what we should be spending our money on for our infrastructure because then if the power goes out if some cataclysmic flood hits we'll still all have power totally necessary and then solar roadways you know we should be decking our country out with the greatest solar graphene infrastructure i said graphene like we can recombine our roads and make them out of graphene trick is getting it out of the hands of the oil companies because they make the roads they make the asphalt and the tar you know that comes from the oil companies too and like plastic this comes from the oil companies so you got to you know, these, these people that this this country's had a stranglehold on. Anyway, my my, uh, my thing's buzzing now because I think I pulled something out of socket. So I'm going to end the video. But if you believe me, pass this message.